Hi, today we're going to turn a baby rattle and I'm going to do it out of maple. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, there we go. And we left a little tenon on it and we're just going to um, go ahead and uh, hollow, th hollow this part out here so it'll seat back in there. Or I parted it off here. Um, it'll leave, leave a little ring right there so you basically know, know where, how far out to come when you're starting to hollow it out and setting your your hole size. So, just go ahead and do that real quick. Just, uh, just to set that in there so that you can put the handle back in it and just kind of judge, you know, when you're making the top, not make it too big or too small so it kind of looks proportioned. So I'm just going to go ahead and shape the outside of the, the top now. When you're uh, when you're making the bottom uh, or where it's going to seat in right here, leave leave it flat for just a little bit, and before you start to roll it around the edge, so that this this seats on there nice and flush. Um, don't don't roll it around too much. Alright, now let's go ahead and uh, hollow out the inside. On this one, we want the wall thickness pretty thin, so that you can, um, so that it rattles. You know, it's just, so it's a nice, nice rattle to it. It's not uh, doesn't sound real thick. So, I mean, we don't want it too thin, but not too thick either. So, we're just going to use the calipers as we go, and I'm going to check the depth right now. This is just a round nose scraper. I'm going to clean it up a little bit in there. And I have a uh, this little scraper too with the with the hook on it and then I can get right back up in here to clean all that out. These are nice you these are replaceable tips in here too, so when when once you get it ground down you can just buy a new tip for it. Got it all cleaned out. I'm just going to go ahead and bring this around the top around here a little bit and then we'll sand it up.
I'm gonna use this the rest of this wood right here to make a, a jam chuck to turn it around and sand up the the top of it. So I'm just bringing it down a little bit. Finishing up with the 600 here. We're going to go ahead and part it off and then uh, turn the tenon down here on this waste block and we'll be put some beans in it. Just have a little bit, a little bit left to clean up. I mean, that's just basically sanding to get that off. But I always like to like to uh, come in and just take just you know maybe an eighth eighth of an inch or so, maybe a little bit more off right here. And that way, you're not turning down the whole whole area here. And if you go too far, you're Get another chunk of wood. I just bring it down just a little bit, and then go ahead and we can bring the rest of the material down to meet that. All right, I made that a big spiel about uh, not bringing it down too far, and I that's exactly what I did. I took it down too much, so I wrapped a piece of electrical tape around it, and that always works good. It brings it. Just enough to stick it on there. All right, then we'll just go ahead and sand up the top. All right, and then just uh, go ahead and finish up. Throw a th few beads in there. I, this is just uh, something I got out of the bulk food section. I don't know what they are. Somebody else may. They're just uh, beans. Some type of bean. So there's the that. And we're just going to go lay a little bit of glue around there. And there you go. All right. There we go. Um, it's basically like just turn in a small box. Um, except we're just going to go ahead and glue the lid on this one. And I put... I don't know, maybe maybe 20 or so of those, the beans in it. And then when you put it back together, you can line the grain back up on it. And then go ahead and glue it together. And that's, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.